this product has been made since you've been trying to preserve meat before refrigeration. And so these are just ways that flavors are built, the technique is all as old world as you can possibly get. That's one of the beauties and what makes me so happy to do this job is because honestly not a whole lot has changed. This has been this way for years and years and way, way before our time and it'll be here way past our time and it's the process could get more modern, you could add more machines to your process, but they're able to get here and actually work with your hands and meet your farmers. It hasn't really changed all that much and I hope it never does change. It's always nice to have chefs come Is to it? the farm. Yeah. I bet, right? Yeah. Puts it in perspective, huh? It does, it does indeed. So we've got a half to rock, quarter amp, quarter yorks. The trifecta. The trifecta. And then now we've got a 100% Berkshire that's about 300 pounds that we're, I think we were putting your name on it. Oh, and I'd it. like to show you that. We will take it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those jowls, jeez. That is some good looking guanciale. <laughs> well, what's the difference between guanciale and like poor man's bacon, they used to call it? Well, poor man's bacon is usually smoked unless it was a green bacon. Uh -huh. Guanciale is just salt cured. So much food anymore is mass produced in production plants. We're not a large operation. We just want to stay connected with the farm and connected with our customers, whether they be private individuals or chefs at a restaurant. That's Wilbur. He's made a lot of babies for us. He's been a good boar. It's important for us to know that our pigs are happy pigs, that they're listening to country music during the day and that they're fed and put to bed every night. It's, it means a lot not only to us, but to our customers and to the animal. Look at how huge and beautiful. Patrine cares so much about her pigs every step of the way, on down from feeding to hygiene to natural space. And then she brings it to us and we're allowed to have hands-on care about everything that we do. And then we pass it on to the customer. And the customer obviously can taste the difference of the quality pork that we use.